All right, yo, what's up, dudes? Um, this is not gonna be a very edited video. Um, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to make um a whitelist system in C sharp. Um, this is fairly easy to do. I'm gonna be teaching all of you how to do it. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So you wanna, this is not a very secure whitelist system. Let me go ahead and put this out. This is gonna be kind of a stream type video, even though it's just a normal video, because I'm probably not gonna be editing it a lot. Um, so you wanna do to get started is you wanna press new project, okay? Now make sure this is C sharp. C sharp. My bad. And this is what you want. Like this is the language we're gonna be coding in, and this is just gonna be what our, our overall project is going to be. Um, this is, keep in mind, I'm going to say it again, this is not a very secure whitelist system, but if you just need a quick whitelist made, easy as that. Okay, so, I'm just going to call it whitelist. Okay, now that we have our window, this is, I'm not going to be doing a really good design on this, by the way, guys. I'm, this is just, just, like, just for the whitelist system, this is not anything else. So I'm gonna stretch the window out a tad. Okay. And why is it lagging? Okay. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change the window for, uh, form to whitelist. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna set show icon to false so there's no icon up there. And I'm gonna open up my toolbox. And I have all my stuff in here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put down a text box in the, into here. Okay, and I'm gonna set the font to a 12. I'm also gonna make the window a lot smaller once I'm done putting all the stuff I need down. So we have a button. So that's really all you're gonna need. So I'm going to size the window down to about uh, that big. That's good. So now you have this. Now I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna come up to format and I'll press center and form horizontally but it's there are these so really this just this one is centering because it would mess up so you don't want to select both of them that was my bad so you want to center your button horizontally and then come up here format and center your text box horizontally do, do them both now I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my button and I'm going to set the text to check whitelist but I can say that's more than what the text box can handle so I'm going to realign it since I had to stretch it back out um, why is it not coming up? Okay, format, center and form, horizontally, there we go. So now we have this, and if we were to run it, we'd have a, te a text box. We, what what you do is you'd put your key in there and press check whitelist, okay? And if, if, your, if your key was on the web data that it's receiving, then it would like, allow you to pass. And so now it's getting to the coding. Now, you want to double click your button, as shown. Now you get to this function right here, private void button one underscore click. Okay, so you want, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna comment out, I'm just gonna comment right here saying, um, networking, oh, that's not supposed to be a cap, networking, and I'm gonna say end networking. Okay, so now you wanna come up here and you're, and you're into your usings, like where you're all your, all your libraries. You're gonna, you're gonna type using system dot net. This allows you to, you have network tools and all that good stuff. So there's something called a web client. That's what we're gonna be using to receive like a string from the web. So we're just gonna type in web client. And I'm gonna call it WC for short. And you wanna type equals new web client. And then a semicolon. Oh no, not a semicolon. Since it's function, you end up like as so. So just like that. Now, under that, this is what we're gonna be calling upon the string that we're gonna be setting the text box at. So this is where we're going to get all this web data from a string. So we're going to type string, and I'm going to call, I'm going to say receive. I feel like I spelled that wrong, but I really don't care. Okay, and then you're going to do equals wc dot download string. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, and then you want to type download string and then quotes, okay? And then put a semicolon. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to open up your web browser and... Want to head over to pastebin.com. Now that you're on pastebin.com, you want to come over here and you want to type in the following. Okay. So whatever. You, okay, I'm just. I, I I guess I'll open up a um, UUID generator. Um. <clears throat> you can just pop this out right here. It generates a lot of um, 
You know, take their universal user IDs is what they're called. So I'm just gonna have five, and I'm press generate, and it'll give me five of them. So I'm gonna copy all these and paste it in here. Of course, these can be passwords if you'd like to, and yeah, you do want them separated like this. These you can put passwords in here. So if you want like under 43, I'll just put that in there as well. And you wanna press create new paste. Okay. Now that you've done that, you should have all this. But this is you wanna press where it says raw right here, raw. I'm gonna press that. Now you have all these, but this is this is just your plain web data. Now, if you do Control U, you can see the source is nothing but the text. Meaning, whenever you receive the web string, it's gonna get all the source onto a string, and all the source is just this. This is all your source right here of that of this whole web page right here. So you want to copy over this this raw link, and you want to paste it in here. Right, so now you want to oh, nope nope don't press enter, okay. Now you want to drop a line, you're going to be writing an if statement. So you want to type if text box 1, which is like what our text box's name is, dot text. And that's what the text inside of it is. And you're going to do dot contains. So, um, oh no, it would be the other way around. My bad. Um, don't write that. Considering this is uncut, I have to kind of just go along with it with like what I have. So you're going to do receive dot contains. And then you want to do text box one dot text. And then we're going to do our little curly brackets, and this is where our function is going to be. So it's saying if it downloads the string from the website, and if that string contains whatever's in your text box one dot text, like your text in your side, your text box one, then it will run the following function. And I'm just going to say message box dot sh new show. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. My bad. Um, then you want to do quotes, comma, and you can do more quotes if you'd like. The second pair of quotes will be your title, so I'll say whitelist succeed. Whitelist succeeded. I'll just say that. And then I'll say congratulations. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Okay. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm just going to say uh, welcome to your oh, program. Right, so welcome to your program and that's f now if you want to make it where like if it's wrong uh, you can always go under it and type else and anything you put in the else it's basically saying if you can receive um, like this data right here or the data from the text box on that web string then it'll do whatever's in between these two curly brackets if if it's not which is kind of what else is then it'll do what's inside of these so we'll just say um, message box oh that's not a message dot show and I'm gonna say um, closing because it's gonna close out of the program if you get it wrong so I'm going to say whitelist failed and then after that we're going to do um, environment you want to type environment dot exit and then you want to do one here now now, if we start up our program, sorry, my computer's being hella slow, and I don't know why. But if you start up the program, and you open this up so you can see all your keys, I'm just going to use this bottom one, for example. Okay, it's taking a terribly long time to pick up. I think I have a new CPU coming in. I'm really sorry about this. Okay. So it should be up down here in just one moment. Okay. Here we are, allow it to just actually come up. Okay, here we go. So we can put anything in here. For a second, for example, I'm just going to type chicken pot pie. Because why not? Check whitelist. Whitelist failed, and it's now closing. And the reason it took so long is because I had to do a first time build. Because that was like my first time, and I was just putting together all the code. And now I had to compile everything. Now it's a lot quicker, as you can see. Okay. Now, for example, if we were to put in the correct code and press check whitelist, it'll say whitelist succeeded. Welcome to your program. And you can also do this with um, IPs if you'd like, if you want to have an IP based. But that is really not like, I would rather you didn't because if somebody were to hack your pastebin link from your, or reverse engineer, not even hack, um, the pastebin link from your program, then they could get all the IPs. And basically what you do is you'd write an if statement. Here, I'll just, uh, okay. I'll just show you what you do. Like I'm not sure. I don't know how to do like that very well. So if you you do like if and then whatever in here, 
like like all the white all the IP kind of things in here like if you basically here I'm not even gonna write it I'm just gonna tell you how it would be written okay so you say if like and then you'd get the data from the string the web string you'd say if the data from the string or if yeah if the data from the string had like basically if the data from the string contains anything inside like your IP address so like if you have your like it, basically what it does is it checks your IP address inside the web like link if that makes any sense to y'all I mean I can make a whole nother tutorial on that I would have to do a little bit of research because this isn't um this is not C++ I can do it in C++ but not in C sharp so yeah guys that's for this tutorial I hope you guys learned something new today on how to make a fairly unsecure whitelist but if you're just gonna maybe be giving this to a couple kids uh, that know nothing about reverse engineering you should be good to go uh, I'll run through the code one more time with you it's um, okay so you included your network library and you want to come over here or you'll come over here to the web client and you'll write web client web client or WC which stands for web client it's gonna be equal to a new web client and you're gonna make a string called whatever you want but I call my receive and you're gonna have that equal to your web client dot download string and then your pa raw paste link make sure it's raw and then you go to if you can like basically if it receives any data that contains textbox one dot text then it'll show you this program. If it doesn't, then it'll or it'll show you this message box. If it doesn't, then it will show you this. If it does, it'll do this. If it doesn't, it'll do this. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out.